everybody and how are you all doing this afternoon you are welcome to this non-official parenting essentials if you see my face for the first time my name is Oye I am Oye Lyo from the vision guide and I'm on a trip with my family this afternoon I said why not let's just go there and do the parenting essential in the car this afternoon and what am I talking about this afternoon what 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 parenting what does it entail we've been talking a lot about parenting i've said a lot about positive parenting if you're new here thank you for stopping by and if you're a new subscriber we want to say thank you for joining this family and if you see my face for the first time you see it all for the first time this is my family i'll be right there the kids are at the back we are the vision guide please consider subscribing before leaving and do work visit our playlist just click our playlist and see the things that we have we vlog on uh, family lifestyle we vlog on positive parenting and many more so let's get started so today I'll be talking about correcting a child's bad behavior how do you correct your child's bad behavior so let our focus be on early years today and generally this is applicable for all ages so bad behavior it means something not pleasant right something you don't like as a parent something you don't want to see but first of all how do you correct your child's bad behavior i will advise you to know to find out what is the cause of this behavior or what are the causes so for you to look for a solution, I say this over and again, for you to give a solution to any challenge or a problem, you have to know the cause of this problem. So if your child is constantly putting on a bad behavior, how do you look for a solution? And we advise as parent, caregiver, it is very important for you to find out why the bad behavior. Especially for toddlers, most of the time you see them throwing tantrums. Tantrums are frustration based. A lot of caregivers and parents see tantrum in toddlers as bad behaviors. And I've said this in many of my videos that tantrum is frustration based. Children don't just throw tantrums. There's something they need. Maybe they cannot communicate their need. So also I want us to be careful as parents and caregivers not to misunderstand our child who is throwing tantrum because of frustration, maybe because he or she cannot express his or feelings and we take it for bad behavior. So let's go ahead, find out what is the cause of the bad behavior. Also, it is very important for you to redirect your words. How do I mean? Maybe you always say, don't do that, don't do this. Don't forget it is very important also for you to allow your child to express his or her feelings even if it look negative to you. Most of the time you have to wait, be calm, see what the child is going to do before you jump into conclusion or correction. Wait, let the child express his or herself, then you find out what is the problem and how you can give the solution. So redirect your words don't always say don't do that stop no why not you say can we try this thing this way so ensure you're not always bouncing or shouting on your child with no stop it don't do it try as much as you can to redirect your words another one like it is for you to try to get a yes if you have noticed that you are always saying no try as much as possible to provide a yes there are ways to go about these things. The answer might always look like no, 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 but there are ways that we can go about it without using the word and all. And most of the time when we use a lot of these, the kids get to take it as a very negative word and they reply everything as no, no, no. So try as much as possible to use a lot of yes instead of using no, no, no. Let me set an example. My daughter is right there at the back or my son is right there. Imagine one of them asking me, or my son is asking me, mommy, can I come and drive you? Yes, you can drive me. But when you turn an adult, when you are permitted to drive, instead of using the word no, we say yes to the answer with explanation. There are so many ways you can get away with the word no. And this is gonna be a lot of calming words to your stubborn child. Because they feel every time mommy is going to say no anyways, mommy is going to yell. So we can redirect all these things and fix them and do them the right way. Be informed. 
Oh, you already know that children love attention. They love attention so much. So it will cost them nothing to get the attention, be it in the right way or what you call the wrong way. If they don't get the attention when it's needed, they might throw tantrums to get your attention. They might do something that you can't do as bad behavior, being stubborn just for you to shout. See, sometimes we just shout and yell on our children and that is exactly what they want. You are giving them the attention. Try as much as possible to use positive feedback when necessary. Ensure that your stubborn child, in quote, the one you feel is stubborn, try as much as possible to ensure that you catch your child in the positive mode. He or she cannot just be stubborn all through 24 hours. There will be something that he or she is going to do that will be pleasant to you. So catch her in the heart. Catch him in the heart by giving pleasant words. Good job. That was good. Let them know that when they do something good, mommy is happy about it. Daddy is happy about it. Don't always talk only when they have done something bad. You cannot just yell or shout, which is not right anyways. I know sometimes we get pushed to the wall to raise our voice. But you know, you can't just correct when they have done something wrong. You have to also compliment or give reward when they have done something that is good enough. So if you're not telling your child, well done, or keep calling the attention of your child to the good things that he or she has done, it is not also right for you to correct the bad ones. A lot of parents will make these mistakes. We want a perfect behavior. We want a, a, a calm child that listens to every instruction. So anytime that the child has done something bad, we'll do, that is really bad. You don't do that. But when the child is doing something that is very good, you are not calling his attention to that. So these are the things that can help you calm your stubborn child. Call his or attention to the good things that he or she is doing. And he's going to be very happy because he wants to do more. If you tell him this is a good thing that you have done, the child will want to do more. So, focus on what you want to see rather than what you can't see. Don't forget your job as parent is to love your kids, love your children, love, love, love. Be correct even the stubborn ones in love. So, when the love is in place, every other thing is going to fall in place. I say this over and again. Love, 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 love. So you focus on their strength, focus on what you want to see, focus on what is realistic and always remember that they are children. So make sure that what you are expecting is realistic. You think like a child. I have reasons why, why should my child listen to this? And that is why I spoke about clear direction earlier in my video. So just go to playlist, you're going to see. I've spoken about clear direction. I've spoken about how to calm your, uh, your toddler during tantrums. So there's a whole lot of things that is going to make this topic in particular clearer to you, especially if you're new here. Just click the playlist and go to the Parenting Essential videos. You see a whole lot of more videos that is in connection to what I'm saying right now that is going to help you a lot to have the clearer understanding on how you can correct your child's bad behavior. So we are all here today and it's about our family time. That is right here. Obi, can you just say hello to everyone? Hi, everyone. All right, this is my husband, and that's Precious at the back. Precious, can you come say hello? hello. And Peculiar, where are you? Hi. We can see you right there. That's my daughter, and they are twins. In case you don't know, they are miracle babies. And uh, it's our family time, and I thought, okay, let's have this parenting essential in the car today. And thank you for joining us today on this non-official episode of the renting essentials and we're going to be coming your way again on another wonderful episode of the renting essentials don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can get notified anytime we drop new video for now we say have a lovely weekend and bye for now bye we love you